Good morning, and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Okay, hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Um, it is about that time of year to talk about garlic. So, I'm going to get a few things ready, and then we're going to head over to the garlic patch. So, hold on, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got my cart and my buckets ready. And as you can see, the garlic is ready to come out. Yep, you're supposed to pull it when there are two or three dead leaves on the bottom, and we are at that point. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys pulled. And um, I'll put a little break in here, and then I'll get started on getting these guys out of the ground. All right, I have the entire bed cleaned out. Now it's going to be reconditioned and we will be planting in it again here very soon. But I have a whole cart full of garlic. They can all fit in my two tubs here. But I'm going to go ahead and pull this cart up to the front porch. And um, then we're going to get going on getting them laid out to cure. Okay, I'm getting ready to lay all this garlic out. Now, I do have to kind of be careful about how far I let them come out because I have a garden hose up here on the front porch. But what I'm going to do is lay these in a way that I can get a lot of them in one space but not have the heads touching. And that's going to require bending these so that um, I don't have them too far out. Now, if I lay them out here, they barely come to the edge of the paper. And I need them to stack. So, I'll show you how I do that. Let's see if I can move the camera out just a little bit so you can see 
the edge of the paper here. Okay. And I'm going to bend these, like I said. And I'm going to start with some up near the top. Now these will need to be out here for a few weeks to cure. But I'm going to stagger them. Make sure I got that on camera. I'm going to stagger them so I can get more in one spot. Now it doesn't matter if the stalks touch, but I just don't want the heads to. It's kind of like playing a game of Tetris, but this is the easiest way that we've found to do it up here on our porch. And I've got quite a few of them to do, but I think I'll just leave them at about that, that far out on the paper. So I have a tendency to come around this corner and bump just about anything that's sitting here anyway. So I'll give them just a little bit more room there. Now when we get a really big thunderstorm, sometimes the water will spray up here on the porch a little bit. So that's another good reason to keep them a bit from the edge of the porch. Now that's all the loose ones that I have that didn't fit in my buckets. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little break in here. I'm going to get to work on the rest of these. Got some extra newspaper here. So I'll adjust the camera so you can see down a little bit further. And then I'll get going on the rest of these.
All right. Now, I have all the garlic laid out, but I had to come back through it and add a few more rows because I ran out of room. Yeah, that is right to the edge of the rug. Clear over to the edge of the house. Yeah. So I got them stacked in there pretty good. Had to bend over all the tops. Yeah. A little bit higher stack than I would normally do, but I am kind of limited on space right now. And having to go back and add a few extra rows on top is a good problem to have. But that is it. All this is going to do is sit out here for the next few weeks to cure. And we are expecting temps going up into the 90s here before too long and they will definitely have plenty of time and plenty of heat to get cured and dry up a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you that one more time and the nice mess that I made. But I will come through here and water in the morning so I'll get all this cleaned up and sprayed off the porch. Okay, glad to have all that wonderful gar wonderful garlic out here on the front porch getting getting cured and the whole porch just smells like garlic. It's wonderful. Now the end of, other end of the porch smells like onions. So yeah, got kind of a theme going on on the front porch right now. But that is a lot of garlic. Really, really happy to have it and uh, to have so much of it that I have to kind of rethink how I'm stacking it. Now normally I would go ahead and try to get some more down on the other end, but um, something that's happening this next week that I'm not going to mention until probably at the earliest this weekend, I have to have a little bit of space down there. So, kind of had to make do with the room I had. I think it yeah, I think it's going to work out okay for right now, but I should probably go ahead and let you go. It is getting kind of late, and actually I am looking up at the sky, and there's some gray clouds. I don't think we were expecting rain today, but it looks like we might either get a little, or it will just put in some cloud cover and maybe cool us off for a little while, which would be just as nice. So... I am going to go ahead and get out of here, I promise. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It will let you know when we are pulling or harvesting anything out of the garden. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Now, yeah, I might sit out here for a little while and just enjoy the smell of the garlic. It's kind of like watering a tomato plant when I water in the morning. Everything just smells like tomatoes and just absolutely love that. But I am going to get out of here. I did promise. So don't forget we love you and we'll see you in the next one.